It's October 15th, 2013. The pump and the nozzles came in today along with the oil absorbing sock for the coolant tank. The nozzles have already been assembled. They come in two six inch sticks uh, with the, uh, this bag full of uh, nozzle components and the adapters here at this end when you buy the full nozzle uh, kit for one foot. I bought separately 90 degree nozzles. The uh, comes in a pack of four. I'm not certain that I'm going to need three like this, but I set it up this way for the uh, coolant flow testing that I'm going to do as soon as the system is complete. The pump itself, the only thing it requires now is the adapter that's going to connect the output uh, from the pump to the output uh, as you see it passing through the lid of the reservoir here. Uh, I just need that adapter that's going to connect the two. So that's a quick trip to the store. Otherwise, it's ready to go. So it'll be time to connect my nozzles. I think I have to change those adapters. The NPT thread in there is too large for these uh, uh, fittings. Um, <clears throat> these use smaller leaves. Are, these are quarter NPT. Quick comparison between these and the Tormach parts. I'm lay them out on the table here for you. This is uh, I shouldn't have it zoomed in like that. This is um, quarter inch hose. The Tormox applied line is much bigger. We'll see if I need to move up. I'll uh, play around with that later, see if I get more flow, buy a nozzle or two on my next order. I didn't actually buy the pliers. I intended to buy the pliers. I didn't buy them. Uh, through rushing through the order, I actually had them in the shopping cart at one point and then I uh, went back later and started the shopping cart again. But anyway, you see there's definitely a difference in fitting size. Uh, not a big deal, of course. These, according to McMaster, are rated at, uh, the, the quarter inch hose is rated at 240 to 250 gallons per hour or something like that. I, I don't remember the rating exactly, somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, so that's well above what the Tormach was flowing. So we'll uh, get to the testing in a little bit as soon as I get it assembled. It may look rather unceremonious right now, but everything is hooked up. The uh, nozzles are all connected, and the official pump is in uh, place. The official reservoir is in place, I should say, with a pump installed. I uh, drilled a new hole for the outlet. Had to make it a lot bigger than I wanted to so I could get the plug through. The hose is connected, uh, and the absorbent sock is in place and the pump is installed although I see it's kind of crooked in the uh, location I'll have to adjust it. I uh, see, may see a little coolant in the line there I hit the switch briefly to be sure that it was going to uh, trigger and it did so I'm getting ready to uh, switch it on and see how that goes. I'll uh, turn the camera off for that because I don't know how much of a mess I'm gonna make but the uh, uh, task is just about done here Sound you hear is the end of some coolant draining back into the system. What I've determined is that there's definitely some coolant collecting in there. I don't know if you can see the increased flow or not, but definitely some coolant collecting in the down uh, the down pipe there. Not terribly surprising, I suppose. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about this short of raising the tray so that I can get a little bit of height and uh, some angle, but I'm not quite willing to do that just yet. As soon as it proves to be a problem, I'll take care of that. Uh, I've done a couple tests here, nothing spectacular. What I'm trying to do now is actually time to see how quickly it's going to fill the two gallon bucket here. This is the two gallon mark, probably can't see it at all, it's the same color as the, the uh, bucket itself of course, just sort of an impression. Got the timing rig set up here. Uh, one of the things I've noticed is that there's a lot of... Uh, uh, I guess air mixing going on. I don't know yet if that's the pump or if it's the uh, uh, the nozzles or just the fact that it's coming out so quickly. Uh, one thing I'm thinking about doing now already is going to a larger diameter nozzle. These are quarter inch nozzles. Um, I'm thinking about increasing. Uh, cut down on the speed through the uh, through the fitting a little bit and maybe that will cut down on the aeration because I don't want the air in there. I just want uh, coolant. I guess it's not air technically, but 
Uh, I don't want it getting mixed. All right, I'll fill the bucket briefly so, so you can see what happens here. In fact, let me move the camera over to this side so you can see from the fill up of the pipe. All right, here we go. You can see how frothy it is as it's uh, filling. It clears up quickly. It's still pretty uh, much air. That's just under two gallons. That quickly. So that's fairly impressive. Pretty sure I reached my target as far as the uh, coolant flow is concerned. So uh, now it's time to do some measurements. So I've just finished a test of the single nozzle by itself. Uh, remember the way I have this configured, I can actually shut off the front two nozzles and then let the uh, rear nozzle only supply flow. And I wanted to see what it would flow two gallons in just to get an idea of uh, uh, the single nozzle flow. Uh, the flow rate should go up if you haven't reached capacity of the, of the nozzles. The flow rate should go up with the uh, uh, elimination of the other two sources of flow. So uh, that test is complete. I discovered that the return system uh, can't put up with me dumping two gallon buckets of the uh, coolant down into the drain very quickly. So I got a little bit of a mess that needs to be cleaned up here. No problem, just wasted two gallons or so of coolant. So I'll have to replace that. But other than that, we're ready to keep going with the test. I've uh, finished all the tests that I'm going to do for three nozzles and I'm ready to move on to uh, uh, getting a statistically significant sample size for the rear nozzle. So I've done a little bit more testing involving just running the nozzle straight out into the uh, chip tray and I've discovered that as I was suspecting the uh, flow back into the reservoir wasn't fast enough to keep up with the nozzles. So I assumed that it looked like it was getting worse. I assumed that this was getting clogged. This is as I pulled it out. There are a few chips in there, but not many at all. Uh, certainly none blocking the holes. I pulled this out and immediately the tray started to empty much faster. So the, uh, the idea of this additional strainer being in there is uh, not going to work. So that's going to come out and stay out unless I plan on running something that's a little bit lower flow. Uh, something worth mentioning here. My uh, last chance screen or whatever you want to call it here is collecting a fair amount of uh, uh, chips. So that's uh, a valuable thing to have in place there. Even though the uh, Tormox screen is here, I found that the chips actually seem to go around the gaps rather than uh, fall into the, into the tray. In fact, most of the coolant may even return uh, may return to the uh, the tray in the gap. I don't know that for certain, I'm just speculating there, but if, when you take the, uh, the chip tray out, you can definitely see chips stuck to the side. Well, of course, there aren't any this time, but normally there are. Uh, none that time, uh, but that's it. So I might as well show what this looks like at full tilt here. This is all three, all three, uh, nozzles running. That gives you an idea of the point flow. The uh, nozzles are crossing streams right now, but it doesn't seem to be causing any problems. You know, we have the point build up here. There's uh, some aluminum there holding it from returning not only aluminum, I guess, but the uh, stepper motor cable. So that's the flow. Here's the return line flow with everything uh, coming back at full speed. Pretty substantial, I'd say. That's, uh, 
I have to say, I can't get over how much slow that is. That's uh, about what I was expecting. But until you see it, you don't really know what it looks like. So that's it.